six year season of single men. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to be 27 this year, Lord. <laughs> so, long story short, y'all use your imagination. Things got a little crazy. I'm not going to front. But I come to, it's funny how the Holy Spirit works because he reels you back in. Yeah. Honey, that conviction yeah. falls on you like bricks mm -hmm. like you're like pinned down with conviction to make you feel guilty mm -hmm. that's condemnation mm -hmm. it's meant to let you know what you did was wrong and chastising you like hey what you did was wrong you know you shouldn't have done that you know you shouldn't have been talking to that person shouldn't have been over here shouldn't have went on that date shouldn't have made it past hello yeah. Quote yeah. Hello. Okay? that's what that's what the conviction was saying yeah. So like I had a conversation with Alicia and I was like, she just blurted it right out. So you, I was like, well, <laughs> and then she was like, hey, and then she was like, well, it happened. So move on. <laughs> I was like, Get that I was like so it happened. So move on. So I was like, oh, what am I going to do? I don't, I don't want to go back to that place that I feel God has already delivered me from. Mm -hmm. And then like being in the season of being by myself, being in the wilderness, like I don't know this area. New York will always be my home. And it's like, Lord, but help me, Jesus, something, Lord. I need some direction, something. Mm -hmm. But, and I know it's like, if I put up those boundaries, like don't call me, I work from eight till nine o'clock at night because I work both jobs. Don't call me past 9.30. So that means I'm in the window to call me. <laughs> intentional with discipline, discipline yeah because i'm the type of person i'm not gonna even front it even comes with my spending i love to spend i love to shop i love to spend money i feel like i work hard for it so i'm gonna spend it i'm gonna buy a michael kors bag it's 300 dollars. i pay pay the credit card off later that's you know what i'm saying like and with that frivolousness i guess it's permeating into other parts of my life but it was like i can go out on a date almost i'm cute honey i'm saying you know what i'm saying Two snacks in the twirl, yes. <laughs> so, I don't know, y'all. Pray for me. I'm, I'm a work in progress. I'm saved, not delivered yet. I'm working on it. <sighs> okay, I feel better. <laughs> I did have something to say, but go ahead. You can go first. You unload. Like, you, know, you, buffet, you just unload, right? You know what I'm just right. I think boundaries are for me or what, how much I can do for you without hindering myself. Yeah, like, I saw something on this where it was like, you kept on giving to somebody, I think like bricks to build their house, but then at the end, you didn't have enough bricks to build your own house. So it was like, how much can I do for you? And at the end, I'm sitting there like, hurt myself. I think one thing that's helped me with relate, like, dating boundaries is like knowing what I want up front and then when I start seeing signs of it not being that I know how to just be like oh, okay I'm gone like I don't even want to have to tell you don't call me after a certain time you should just know you know like when I start seeing those oh let's let's Netflix and show like even when the conversation starts going left I'm like bye so that's a good one for me. Like, there's certain things that I just expect a man of God of, that's of good standard to uphold himself to. So when he starts exemplifying those things, that's a clear sign for me to be like, you know what? I'm gone. I'm gone. So even for you, if you have a man that has standards, he's probably going to ask you first. I know you get off late. Is it okay if I call you at this time? Versus just, hey, girl, what you doing? Let's go to the bar and get some drinks. Or can I come over or whatever? You know what I'm saying? That's I think that's just like a clear indication of, he is a good potential mate or he ain't. So what if there's an instance where God does come over and he really just has pure intentions? It could be on a weekend, like 8 o'clock or something. Maybe stay until like maybe 10, 30, 11, but don't do nothing. Like you're just talking, having conversations, talking about life, talking about goals, talking about, you know. Because I've, I've met, like not here, but like back in the day, like I've met a guy and we just became really good friends and we would hang out and we would talk and we would do all that stuff of course we went our separate ways because he did whatever he did with whomever i think he got married but you know like i don't know and then it brings me back like Corne cornelius mentioned like why well, do you have guy friends you don't need guy friends you need you some women friends 
don't I don't think that's true at all. I don't think so either. I felt some kind of way about that. Because I'm like, I have some... His blog, one of his blogs. Because mm -hmm. he talked about that whole intimacy, into me, I see, or into me, you see, whatever. But, yeah, I was like, there can be some guys that, you know, I have a friend who's a lawyer, and he... Was like, yeah, so I can come over, you know, you can show me some dishes, some vegetarian dishes and whatever, but it's just been straight platonic, like, none of that. I don't even see him in that way yet, and that's kind of weird. I know for my guy friends, like, I don't talk to them often. Right. I don't hang out often, because I feel as though if you do have guy friends and you're hanging out with them every day, there's a possibility, there's a high chance that feelings will start to develop. develop. Yeah. It's not in you, it's in the other person. They might not ever say it to you, but then and then when you end up in a relationship, there may be secret jealousy that's going to go on. Like, opposite, opposite sex attract each other. Like, it's just going to happen. So, I mean, if you are able to have that opposite sex relationship, um, hanging out every day yeah. may be dangerous. Yeah, I see him. I see him like once every other two weeks. Go ahead. Hi. I've I've had a guy best friend since I was in the fifth grade. This is Periscope, y'all. I like to let them come in. Yeah, it's all about what you can handle. Yeah, I've had a guy best friend all my life, and then now y'all know Steven. Steven's yeah. become like one of my best guy friends, and he can come over to my house and we'll Periscope till two, three o'clock in the morning. But there's no attraction. So I think it's just really it has to do with where you are with the with the male species, period. Like if you're in a place where your flesh is just like, oh my God, it's a guy, it's a guy, it's a guy, then yeah, you don't need to be friends with guys like that. But if you are sound in where in who you are and you're in a good place and you you have your you have your flesh under control, then yeah, you can be friends with guys because if it wasn't for the friendships that I've had with some guys, I wouldn't have gotten some of the prophetic counsel that I needed. <laughs> Like, literally need it. So, I think it's just all about, again, like we're talking about setting healthy boundaries about what you can handle and in what setting you can handle it in. Because you can have that guy friend and it be okay and y'all talk about vegetarian recipes and he going about his way. Mm -hmm. But if you're attracted to him, then that's when you got to be like, mm, pause. See, and that's the thing where when you, when you said, like, you, you meet someone and then you're like, well, you know you kind of have a conversation with them and you see like, oh, you want to Netflix and chill. And you're like, eh, nah, nah. But with me, in the back of my head's like that angel and that devil. It's like, but you want to just Netflix. And you think he's cute. I'm like, okay. Be good to have a little company, it's a little cold outside, you know. But, <laughs> you know That's what I'm saying? Is, so, just to keep it real. Yeah. And I'm just like, all right, whatever. And then, you know, Netflix, be watching us. Yeah, mm -hmm. I learned I learned that, that I'm not about that life. If I'm really, really attracted to you, we are not next Netflix and chilling. We don't need to be in an intimate setting at all. Because if I'm attracted to you, I'm like, oh, we can just kind of like, you know, mm -hmm. hold hands and like, I'll be back first.